Here is our friend, our pal, the president and CEO of the Ottawa Senators, Tom and Selmy. Have you ripped the town apart in the uh, relative <laughs> few months that you've been there? Well, we're working on it. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Wow. We're doing you, all right. You missed our voice, didn't you, Tom? I uh, always miss you guys. <laughs> so 1,500 seats are getting booted out of the arena. What are you going to do with them? Are, are you just going to cover them up, or what? Do you, what's the plan here? Uh, they're kind of per- semi-permanently covered up. So, uh, yeah, we're not literally rip it, ripping them out right oh, now. Oh, damn. But, uh, I wanted one. Uh, uh, oh, we can make we can make make arrangements for that. Bob, guaranteed. Uh, so, are you going to put it. signage on them then, Tom? Can you sell them? Can you sell uh, signage? I guess we could. That that's not the wor- what's in the works right now. It's uh, it's just covered with some team branding on it, and uh, and you know, but it was really uh, just looking at the the building. You know, this building was built in the '90s, and uh, back in the early '90s, you know, there was that arms race going on where everyone was it was bigger, 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 and more suites and all that kind of thing. And right. uh, you know, things have changed, and uh, our lower bowl's too small, the upper bowl's too big. We've got a 200 level that most buildings don't even have now. We got too many suites, and so. It was really an attempt to kind of right size the building, and uh, it's funny though, eh? You do something with suites in a hockey arena in Canada, <laughs> people pay attention. It's fun. Well, the, the, the inter- you talked about the arms race in the '90s. The, the that building, which was originally the Palladium slash the Corel Center, yeah. uh, was designed after the Palace at Auburn Hills. And what's happened to the Palace of Auburn Hills this year? It's being torn down, Tom. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, and 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 I mean, you're you're an engineer. Technology has changed too, and how these things are built, isn't it? Isn't that, that's really that's really changed things as well, hasn't it? Yeah, there's that, and there you know there's where they're being built, and uh, but I think most importantly, it's you know it's the appetite of the sports fan and how they you know what what they want. And you remember you know in the 80s and 90s, I mean, corporate suites were all the rage. And uh, and there's still a market for them, no question. But it's a smaller market, and you know, there's more people that want to, uh, you know, they want to be part of uh, something with 100 people as opposed to 10 or 12, and uh, or they don't want the, you know, the the effort of having to manage a suite or or whatever. So it's just the sportsman, his tastes are changing, and uh, and we need to try and react to that. Well, I guess. I mean, do you open these seats back up when demand increases or um, on special occasions uh, during uh, playoff games, or what's the plan? No, that's not the plan, actually. We we, was asked that question a bunch of times. And First of all, the the system that we're using to cover them is not easy. It's not like something you can just put on and take off um, pretty easily. But, no, really, the idea is is that they're out of the seating manifest and we're not going to sell them. That's the end of that. uh, All right. What's that? No, that's the end of that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they're gone. And, uh, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, scarcity creates demand. And uh, and uh, and uh, they were the they were the cheapest seats in the building that weren't selling. So, yeah. you know, it was it was uh, too much supply. 